Assalamu alaikum dear students, I'm Dr. Daoud, Associate Professor in the Department of Biotechnology and Genetic Engineering, Quad Industry of Science and Technology. Today we will discuss about water pollution in our environmental biotechnology. Lecture we will discuss briefly about water pollution, as well as we will define and different signs of polluted water. Along with this, we will briefly discuss the sources and different pollutants which are going to pollute our this precious resource and different types of water pollution, their effects and along with this we will briefly discuss the controlling strategies and at the end we will summarize our today's discussion. From today's discussion we are hopeful that you will be able to identify the polluted water along with uh, you will have a knowledge about different type of pollutants and their effects on our water as well as on our ecosystem. As you know that water is the most important source and in our body and if, without it we can't think about uh, our life. About 71% of earth is being occupied by this source but instead of so much huge amount in our ecosystem very less amount that is almost one person is available for our daily use and almost 2.5 billion people residing in less developing countries they have almost lack of adequate sanitation regarding water they have very poor as well as less savage collection and proper treatment facilities for there and uh, even you may know that every year almost or more than 3 million deaths do occur due to waterborne diseases which are mainly caused by polluted water. One of the strategies which was developed through Millennium Development Goal was to reduce the number of people by half who has less access to safe drinking water means the people number should be made higher having access to safe drinking water. Dear students, in many ways we can define polluted water. The simplest way is the presence of any contamination in different water bodies, particularly rivers, lakes and streams. Also if we see any final body in present in water which, and which may lead us in alteration of its physical or biological as well as its chemical properties of that very water resource and resultantly what happens if the color order etc and uh, pH turbidity and other physical chemical property do change we can say that this water is polluted. 
if we observe increase or decrease in the physical characteristics of water resource or if we see the presence of different biological agents in a particular water source or the presence of different chemicals particularly that kidney mercury which may alter the water quality and resulting what happens adversely affecting the living organisms dwelling over the air in that particular water body so we can say that this water is dear students if we don't have any analytical tools so there is some basic criteria through which we can judge that whether our water is polluted or not if you are going to drink a certain water and if, which is it is of bad taste it comes under the category of polluted water if you have some offensive or undesirable odors coming from various resources that is river streams and canals or if you see poor growth of some micro and macro fires for example giant trees typha um, canals of various water bodies uh, and the banks of various water bodies particularly canals streams and uh, other in one portions we can say that this is polluted water even if we observe decline in number of fish in ocean and fresh water or some island grease which are floating on water surface so we can simply say that this water is that good and it comes out of the category of polluted water here you, you can see these pictures which have been taken from different districts that is Lucky, Karakin, Kuhat and here you can see the whole growth of different equity fields on the banks of these streams and here you can see the color and even the adder was not so much good so this comes under the category of polluted water so if we see certain signs we can simply can't use this type of water for public use and even it can't be used for recreation or any aesthetic purpose and uh, it is for different purposes for different usage we have two basically two sources regarding water pollution it is point source and non point source the point source pollution is simply is simple that source of pollution which is directly discharged to different discharge pipes the source is known means the wastewater the polluted water is coming from different factories, municipal treatment plants, industries or uh, different other activities and they are directed through different pipes and uh, through different uh, other systems and uh, to the main streams particularly oceans, rivers and canals and luckily we can easily monitor and control through different regulatory systems this type of pollution In case of non point source pollution it's very difficult for us to find out the main source from where it is coming particularly this type of source pollution is uh, confined to our agriculture activities and uh, through different stormwater 
are run of systems are through different flooding systems the different pollutants are coming and are discharged into main streams rivers and lakes lakes we can't easily trace and uh, through different wastewater treatment facilities and even then in past it was considered to be the diffuse source pollution because we are not having obvious uh, idea about our obvious knowledge about its entry from where it is coming here you can see that there is a huge field and uh, water particularly polluted water is coming and we are not sure from it is from where the main source is where the main source uh, about the main source we are not so much obvious we are not so much sure. now we come to the different categories of pollutants which are directly or indirectly polluting our environment the most obvious one are the most dangerous ones are those which are oxygen demanding waste and particularly they are basically coming from animal based manures some industrial based waste or domestic sewage sludge they need higher amount of oxygen for their degradation and their aerobic fermentation is too much high we are having some biological based uh, agents particular bacteria parasites some viruses which also pollute our uh, water in one way in one way or the other way certain inorganic based materials say for example acids salts and toxic materials in the form of fertilizers which also pollute our environment and uh, organic based chemicals which are present in pesticides different detergents and industrial oil waste they also pollute our environment of water in one way or the other and uh, certain plant based nutrients particularly phosphate and nitrates which are coming through different agriculture based synthetic fertilizers and uh, they pollute our water and uh, certain sediments and uh, even heat which are caused by different power plant plant and uh, different industry activities they also pollute our environment by increasing their temperature here you can see that different type of waste different type of viruses different type of bacteria and even inorganic waste materials are going to pollute our we are having three different type of their students types of water pollution it is biological based chemical based and physical based in biological based water pollution some are direct one or indirect one which are creating different environmental problems particularly health related problems we are having some chemical based water pollution and they are organic inorganic based materials nutrient based materials some are persistent organic pollutants which are too much or difficult to be degraded particularly aldrin dialdrin heptachlor and uh, even we have some certain heavy metals which are even present in very minute quantity in our different synthetic fertilizers some are some toxic elements super toxic elements such as selenium arsenic and acids chlorines radioactive isotopes which are also polluting our environment and physical based water pollution types which also pollute 
directly or indirectly. Now we come to the main effects of water pollution. Uh, the most obvious one is the eutrophication, which is basically the excessive growth of certain microfires, particularly al algae, uh, due to the presence of phosphate in water bodies, resulting to what happens. The oxygen and light doesn't don't penetrate uh, into the water deep and uh, water bodies particular fish can't be over there there is also the production of foam particularly of those uh, which are coming those particularly result from those wastewater which is coming from different reverses of detergents and alkalis. We even have some bad taste and unpleasant odors and uh, also there is increase in turbidity and uh, increase in the nitrates and phosphate as well as the most direct indirect effects are the health related effects because of polluted water. Now we come to the last overview of our today's discussion that all type of water pollution is mainly because of human based activities. We are responsible, nobody is responsible. We have disturbed our nature and uh, resulting in what happens, we see a lot of problems, health related problems. And polluted water has endangered our whole ecosystem, particularly our biotic one. So there is need to properly formulate different rules and regulation in order to properly control this menace and in order to avoid any further spread. And the most important one, we must be properly aware our common masses through different programs. From today's discussion, hopefully, you would have learned a lot about water pollution and uh, different sources and uh, different type of pollutants. And in next um, lecture, we will explain how to control this menace and what is the water pollution strategy and status in our country in comparison with our with other countries by then take care and allah hafiz